What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Clash with Eric. Today is One Hive Guides, and we are going over Laloon, Town Hall 10 to be specific, but this is applicable for Town Hall 12 all the way to 9. Tips for everybody to improve your Laloon. These scale very nicely across all Town Hall levels, so make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and if you missed yesterday's video, there is a link for it right there, and Click on that if you want to see the first half of it, this two-part video and go pick up all the tips from that. That one covered Queen Charge Laloon and uh, Sui Hero Laloon. This one is going to cover Kill Squad Laloon and Electron Laloon out of a blimp and a slammer. So with that, let's get right into today's video. All right, so now we're going to actually Aliafi again. He's very good at Laloon. And now we're looking at the Electron Laloon. So, what are you looking for for an Electron Lalu? Well, a lot of bases have the Queen covered by a Sweeper. And if the Queen is not covered by a Sweeper, and you have a way to get into the Queen with a Slammer or a Blimp, then you can go in there and wreck a base with the Electron Lalu. So, in this case, there are a lot of Teslas out here. This is not a fresh hit. We know that there are a lot of Teslas out here, and they can go in and mess up the pathing or bring down the Slammer before it actually enters the base there. So always be mindful of Teslas to throw off the pathing of the Slammer if you're entering on the side of the Town Hall. If you're not, then the only thing you gotta worry about with a blimp is where Black Mines are. So make sure you get those Cocoa Loons out in front of it. We're actually gonna go look at one of those next. So let's look at this here. So in this case, he's gonna use the heroes up front. He's gonna have the heroes go in and take out the Tessa farm to create the pathing for the Electron to enter the base. And really the biggest indicator that an Electron Lawloon will work on a base is your accessibility to the Queen and avoiding the sweeper range. So I actually have a guide out for Electron Laloon for Town Hall 10 and the Queen Charge Laloon that breaks these down a little bit more in depth. But if you wanna go check those out, they are in the One Hive Guys playlist. But for this one, we're just gonna keep it relatively simple and say, avoid the sweepers and the Electron is gonna have a very high chance of success. So let's actually watch this and see how it goes into the base here. So the heroes are going to go in and create the pathing for the slammer. If you don't need to create that pathing and the pathing is already there, then you can have the heroes go in afterwards and go take out uh, wizard towers. Wizard towers are the biggest threat to the uh, electron because you're not going to have a lot of spell support after the electron goes through. So in this case, those heroes are going to go through, take out a lot of those defenses there, and then they will continue on and maybe get that air defense and then they're going to die out. So you want to poison with this strategy. You, If you know that there is nothing in that CC that is going to threaten your uh, your Electro Dragon, then you will be able to go in without a poison. But for fresh hit, always bring a poison. A Witch or something can really, really mess this attack, attack up as the Queen may not go down. And if the Queen doesn't go down and your heroes have already been used up front, then you don't have a chance to deal with her because you don't have any Rages, you don't have any Skeleton spells. So the Electro has to get the queen. It's vital that she gets the queen and it needs to get the CC down. If you're not sure if you're going to get the CC down and you already used your heroes in advance, then bring an extra baby dragon and lure that uh, enemy CC off to an, a safe area and kill it with a baby dragon. So that's a backup plan if you're not sure. So in this case, he's going to go in here and he's going to smash into this base. He takes out the queen with the E-drag with those clone balloons surging forward and then the E-drag is going to kill the regular dragon and then it will kind of end up there. So. You want to do this into areas that don't have a huge amount of air defenses because you don't actually need to kill a lot of the air defenses for the strategy to make it work you're going to be able to take out a huge amount of area with uh an area that doesn't have air defenses and get a huge amount of value out of that e-drag and then you'll have three hounds and a full laloon army to deal with the remaining air defenses so next is your ability to deal with infernos on that blimp drop if the E-Drag is going to get an Inferno, then you have a high chance that you're going to be successful without a heal spell or extra haste spells to get through the base. In this case, he's bringing six haste. I like to bring four haste and a heal spell if I leave two multi-infernos up so that I can rush one and then have a heal spell going into the last one. You're going to see why that I like to bring that as he approaches into the end of the base here. But let's watch it as it goes through. His uh, Lalun is going to come in. He's going to, once again, same thing as we talked about with the last attacks, you want to send in balloons to one shot every single defense that they approach and so that they don't have to backtrack, they don't get hung up and have to go 
uh, sit on a defense for extra time while they're getting hammered, and they're going to one-shot every single defense that they approach, and that's exactly what he's going to do here. So he has, uh, he has a lot of haste to push him through here, but he doesn't have a heal spell to get him into this last inferno, and with that wizard tower beating down on those big pack of balloons, even with those haste, he probably could have got more value out of a out of a heal spell. So he's going to barely, barely not take that Inferno down. And now he's just relying on these last little pack of balloons here to get through the air defense and the Inferno. So very, very dangerous right there. And he's still going to, uh, luckily for him, he still pulls it off here. One balloon survives with a decent amount of life to make it to and get that last drop on the Inferno. And he ends up being a successful attack here. But I say as a rule of thumb, if you're going to leave two Infernos up after the initial Electron drop, then only do a single clone Electron and bring a Heal spell. And you can have another Haste or a Freeze or something like that. A Freeze is nice to get through the first Inferno and then a Heal spell for the back Inferno. And it's a good trade-off if you're going to only use a single clone Electron. But if you can get an Inferno drop or get an Inferno on the entry, then you're going to be able to get a large amount of value out of your Electron. And then it makes it worth it to bring two clones and get a few extra defenses while you're dropping in. So as you can see, he comes out really close on this one. And there's a couple things he could have done better, but he ends up getting the triple on this. And it's a very solid attack. So with that, uh, next on the billet, we are going to look at the double clone Electron out of a Slammer. And or excuse me, out of a Bloom. So let's go over to that. All right, so double clone out of a Bloom. What are you looking for for this strategy? Once again, you're, as with any Electron, you're looking for the sweeper positions. Can you access the Queen without going into a sweeper range? Secondly, are you going to be able to take out Inferno on entry? And if you are, are they set to multi or are they set to single? So in this case, they're both set to single, so he's not going to need a heal spell to go into the back area here. All of these wizard towers on the backside are inside of air defense range so that if a Hound goes in there, then they're going to be tanked, so splash damage on this base is not a threat, making an excellent, excellent option for an Electron Lawland. And in addition to that, he's going to take out two with the or two Wizard Towers with the Blimp Drop, and so he's going to get a huge amount of value. So he's going to get the CC, the Queen, he's going to get two Wizard Towers, and then he can send in his heroes to take out more Wizard Towers and more air defenses and make it even sweeter. And the, the heroes are going to come in afterwards in this case because of the blimp drop, and they can go in and finish off any CC that remains standing. So let's watch exactly how he makes this drop. So he's avoiding that uh, the sweeper range. He's going to first go send in a couple balloons there. They're going to work as Coco balloons, and they're going to take out the Expo there, and now in comes the blimp. They're going to actually get a little bit tanking on these Teslas as the blimp passes over the top, but it doesn't have to go too far it just has to reach the inferno he's gonna hit get hit by a red mine there and in comes a rage two clones and they're gonna drop right in a dragon comes out of the cc and he's gonna be able to get down the queen get down the dragon and he takes out looks like he got both sweepers as well so even better and he will get the tesla farm and that dragon will continue on and work on cleanup and now it's ready for the heroes to come in so pause it right there when you can take out a large amount of the splash defenses in the base and then send in your heroes to take out even more then you're going to have a very very high chance of success on this attack so watch what he does with his heroes here they are going to come in from the corner here and he uses a wizard to break this trash ring to make sure that the heroes come in so you always want to whenever possible send in the heroes and use that that blimp drop with that electron as a funneling tool to get your heroes to go the right direction so if the a uh, blimp drop happened there at nine. Then you send in the heroes adjacent to that so that they will be able to move in and you know exactly where they're gonna go. They're gonna go in here after this air defense. They're gonna go all the way over here to this uh, wizard tower, but also avoid the range of the CC. As you see here, he's gonna pop that ability because he knows he's about to pull that uh, that ice golem out of the CC and he will go in here. The first haste goes, sends at least five balloons into that uh, Archer Tower there, and then they're going to start sweeping across the middle there with the Hounds out in front. So he doesn't have to worry about any balloons losing there because he has so many, first of all, but all the splash damage is tanked and the Hounds are out in front. Pups are going everywhere. The whole base is wrecked. He has two balloons going to the Archer Tower, two balloons going to the uh, Bomb Tower, and then they can all collapse into the final area there. So every defense that he is approaching is going to get one-shotted. So this attack was against us, but it was a very, very well done double clone electron and he totally wrecks this base so great job to 
XPR toss <laughs> from Unstoppable. So that was a good hit. That was a good hit. That's exactly, that's textbook Electron Lawlin. And yeah, I mean, that's exactly how you do it. So be careful if you're dropping the, the blimp nearby uh, Inferno and not directly on top of it, because it might, after the balloons die off, you might uh, have that blimp, excuse me, that, uh, that Inferno lock onto your E-Drag and take it out before the Queen goes down. So be mindful of that when you do this as well. But next, we're going to go look at a... Actually, we're going over to have myself do some attacks here. We're going to go look at the Kill Squad Lalu next, and I'll show you how that works and what bases you're looking for to make it happen. All right, guys, the next attack that we're going to be looking at is the Kill Squad Laloon. The Kill Squad Laloon has really taken a hit over the last little while since the release of the Ice Golem, and that is because a small Kill Squad going into the base needs to strike quickly. It needs to have full damage and be able to take out as much as it can very, very quickly because it doesn't have a lot of troops. And so it needs to strike fast, strike hard, and Ice Golems really, really mess that up. And so does Hounds. Hounds have always been an issue for Kill Squad, and they definitely lock up your queen and make sure that she doesn't get very much value. And where she is one of the highest damage output of your Kill Squad, it is vital that she gets full value. So go into bases that have dragons, that have baby dragons, witches, and stuff like that in their CC, and you're gonna get a lot of value out of a Kill Squad Laloon or a hog attack. Uh, a Kill Squad hog, basically any type of Kill Squad attack is looking at the CC first and finding out what is in there and then your accessibility to the queen. In this base, the queen is over here near the town hall. Town hall's all the way in the corner. If you have a town hall in the center, then it really opens up your options. So if you see a town hall in the center, you can basically set this up from any angle. But in this space, it is a little bit tough to get in there. So we had to send a wall wrecker basically in the path like this or a path like this to get into her because I don't have enough punch to get through this whole top quadrant and still be able to make it to the queen. So I'm going to make my uh, kill squad go for this path here and go in. So now the next biggest part of the kill squad Laloon is funneling. You need to have a funnel to get your heroes to go into the base because your kill squad is normally just your heroes and the wall wrecker. With a couple spells, you can use Valkyries or Bowlers in your CC. If you want to use Bowlers in your CC, then you're going to need a heal and a rage. If you're going to use just Valkyries, then you just want to use one rage and that'll open up a heal to go with your balloons. But you want to make sure that you are able to get the queen down. And so it depends exactly where she is standing. If she is if she's against a wall right here and so this wall right here she will actually be able to step over that wall into this compartment here but she might not be standing in the right compartment so i'm going to use bowlers instead of valkyries because if the wall wrecker opens up this wall here and doesn't uh avoids these two because i don't want to go through two walls there i'm going to have her go through this one so if she's standing on top of this air defense then the the valkyries can't reach her so they might not get her and so i want to use actually bowlers because i'm going to be in a tight area here with a lot of walls and closing me in when that wall right there opens and so i want to be able to get the bounces and take out the things over the walls so that's why i choose to use bowlers in this one if it's more open area and you can have the valkyries actually reach that queen do, try to judge exactly where she's going to be standing when that wall wrecker opens and you can determine what you want to use but i'm going to bring a heal i'm going to bring a rage for those bowlers as soon as they open up there and they're going to take out that enemy queen so i have to funnel i have to get my heroes into the base so i need to clear out this up here and i need to clear out down over here somewhere so i'm just going to use something simple I just have a bowler cooked and I don't feel like switching it to a wizard, but I just want to clear out these two buildings here and that should form that side of the funnel mix so my king cannot walk all the way over here and he will go into the base. On the top side here, I want to clear out this stuff here, but I have this archer tower here. So this archer tower is protecting a lot of these buildings right here and so I want to drop a baby dragon, but I want to snipe off that archer tower and I'm going to use a couple balloons as soon as that baby dragon is tanking and bring down that archer tower and that'll make sure that baby dragon can clear out all the buildings in there and then I'll have a little space right here that'll prevent anything from going up that direction and everything should follow the wall wrecker and everything meaning the king and the queen. So they can go in, then we can use the same fundamentals from what I showed you in the previous attacks to do my law loon. So we'll see if I can put them to use here and bring the space down. So let's do it. All right. So let's see if we can make this happen. So we're going to start it off with the baby dragon. Start it from the funnel up top here. 
with the Arch Tower is getting or drawing the fire of the Arch Tower, we'll try to snipe it off with a couple of balloons there. We'll use a bowler bounce down here to try to clear out that part of the funnel. And we'll send in the wall wrecker right there to work its way in. We'll send the king and the queen out here and they will work in and join that wall wrecker. It'll take them just a minute to work through that trash there and work their way into where the actual wall wrecker is joining into the base. But the wall wrecker should enter in at the wall right there. It's going in, Put that poison down and let it work its way in. So those heroes are gonna join up with it in just a moment. And as soon as it opens up, we will have the heal rage. All right, we're gonna go in there, get the queen, get out two air defenses, pop that king ability. And can we get it? Can we get it? All right, so we can start our law loon up at the top here. We don't have to wait. So let's, uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And let them work their way in. Get a couple haste down. Pop that queen ability. Haste in the middle as we collapse into all those expos. A couple more balloons over here to, to the Tesla. And a rage as we go into this area. Get some haste to get those balloons inside. We have a freeze for the Inferno. And right there, perfect. And a couple, uh, looks like a troll Tesla popped over there in the corner. Let's see if we can get it down. Oh, we're not quite having enough to get through. All right, we want to take out these uh, pups here, that are these uh, skeletons that are following. Looks like my pups are actually going to get them. So we'll get a couple of minions down there, a couple of minions up here. And let's see. All right, balloons are all going to take off there. So let's uh, get a minion down there and start working through this cleanup. We got a minute and a half to get through it. And it looks like we will get it as long as we don't time fail. I was a little bit slow on getting my cleanup down. But as you can see, we got all of the key targets there and we were able to take it down. So the damage CC is what makes this possible if your heroes get frozen up by double ice golems or a if they get stuck with a a hound a hound will make sure that your queen doesn't get any value then you want to look for a different strategy that doesn't actually uh pull that cc or has a way to deal with it so look at those other strategies that we talked about that doesn't ever actually pull the cc out and you'll be able to make it happen so this is the kill squad laloon a very powerful attack when the base has damage cc am i gonna time fail here i don't know i was a little bit slow but we shall see actually the queen is still up so she's gonna help along here as we push into the last little bit and that troll tesla the laloons are always a little bit vulnerable to troll teslas so maybe try to hold on to a balloon and go take out those troll teslas and you can make this strategy happen for you looks like we're gonna finish with 10 seconds to spare and that's gonna be the end of today's video i hope you can go out there use these different laloon techniques and find one that fits the base that you're attacking watch where that queen is watch where the sweepers are look and see what is in the cc whether it's a fresh hit or a cleanup attack and choose this type of law loon that is going to fit the base and go out there and wreck some bases so that's gonna be it for today guys thanks for joining me don't forget to hit that like button that subscribe button turn on those notification bells so you don't miss every day when we drop our daily video and i'll see you guys in the next one